Ring of Fire, Social Distortion on Rockin' to 5380. Do you ever feel incredible pressure to live up to other people's expectations of you, to try and be perfect, whether that pressure comes from, I don't know, society or the place where you work, or maybe your significant other, or maybe you put that pressure on yourself. That, as it turns out, can be terrible for you, can actually kill you. Full story before 3.30. Also at 4 o'clock, your next keyword that could win you a VIP trip to Vegas to check out the iHeartRadio Music Fest. Jet, are you going to be my girl? It's not rocking a 5.3. Thanks for hanging out. Hey Joe, Jimi Hendrix on Rockin' 5.3, it's 80. Your next keyword that can win you a VIP trip to Vegas to check out the iHeartRadio Music Fest at 4 o'clock. Why do you need a trip to Vegas? Maybe you put yourself under tremendous pressure. Maybe you need a break. Maybe your company that you work for puts you under tremendous amounts of pressure. Maybe that pressure to be perfect comes from your spouse or maybe society or maybe you just put that on yourself. Whatever the case may be, that can be really bad for you. It's true. Saw up at rockin'a53.com that new research has found that trying to be perfect can have absolutely disastrous effects on your health, lead to heart attacks and stuff like that. Which, by the way, once again makes me psyched about my lifelong policy of constantly striving for complete and utter mediocrity. Yep, there's the middle. There's me aiming for it. AD on Rock 105.3. System of a Down, Toxicity on Rockin' a 5.3. It's 80. If you look out your window right now, what do you see? What's it like? If I look out the studio window at the moment, it's beautiful. It's perfect. It's another wonderful, amazing San Diego, gorgeous, bright, clear day. Which makes it hard to believe that big chunks of San Diego are under a flash flood warning at the moment. For full details and to find out if you need water wings to navigate your way home, check out our sister station, News Radio Kogo 600 AM. Your next keyword that could win you a VIP trip to Vegas to see the iHeartRadio Music Festival is next at 4. Interstate Love Song, Stone Temple Pilots on Rockin' 5.3. It's AD. Have you ever found yourself wishing that you could just change your name arbitrarily the way celebrities do? I mean, you and I can change our names, but it involves legal paperwork, and then it's not like we're going to be able to change them back so easily. And yeah, you know which celebrity has reverted to his original nickname after three different ones? Have a guess, see if you're right. Full story before 4.30, also before 5 o'clock, your shot at tickets to go see Nine Inch Nails in Soundgarden. Take out the gunman, Chevelle on Rockin' 5.3. If you listen closely, between now and 5 o'clock, you'll hear another chance for you to win your way and to see them, along with Nine Inch Nails at Sleep Train Amphitheater. Spoonman, Soundgarden on Rockin' 5.3, it's AD. Have you ever wanted to just arbitrarily change your name, call yourself something different? Occasionally, you must get that itch, which is why I've always kind of been a little envious of celebrities that can go, Today, I feel like this. I'm changing my nickname, and everyone's going to accept it. I think the guy that's done that the most is probably Sean Combs, Diddy, Pete Diddy. I don't know what what his original name is, but I saw up at rockin'a53.com that Diddy is reclaiming the name Puff Daddy. He's going back to his like second or third nickname, just because he feels like it. Still. You know what Shakespeare said? The rose by any other name is still an annoying no-talent opportunist who makes millions by taking credit for other people's work. Man of the Box, House and Chains on Rockin' a 5.3. It's ADU. We'll have another chance to win your way into WWE Live after 5 o'clock. Right now, though, hot your boy, 5701053, caller 15, is on their way to see Soundgarden and Nine Inch Nails at Sleep Train Amphitheater on the 21st. You can grab all the info up at rockin'a53.com. Good luck. Mother dancing on Rockin' 5.3, it's 80. You might want to mark your calendar Friday the 15th. That's this Friday. It's all things Chargers here on Rockin' 5.3 as they take on the Seattle Seahawks. We'll have the game at 7, but from 2 o'clock in the run-up to kickoff, it'll be all things Chargers here on Rockin' 5.3, your Charger station. Did you see this? The NFL has made some major changes on the cap on damages to players who've suffered injuries in the NFL. It's an interesting one. It could be a huge improvement for people that have uh, given their lives to this sport. Full story before 6 o'clock. Also before 6, your next chance to win your way into WWE Live. Smells like Team Spirit Nirvana are rocking the 5 3 it's 80. Did you hear about the changes the NFL has made to the damages players can receive after getting injured in the game? It's actually a good thing for players. Full story before 6 o'clock. Right now, though, hot your boy. 5701053, car 15, on their way to WWE Live at Valley View Casino Center Saturday, the 23rd of this month. Good luck. 1,000 horsepower. It's new from Godsmack. It's on Rockin' 5-3. 
Santeria Sublime, our Rockin' a 5-3. It's 80. I don't know if you knew this, but for the entirety of the football season, every single Tuesday will be free pizza day on the AD Show. You'll have your next chance to grab yourself two large pizzas from Pizza Hut after 6 o'clock. Right now, though, speaking of football, did you see this up at rockin'a5-3.com? It's kind of good news. It's been hotly debated for a while now, but the NFL is removing the cap on damages to players who've suffered concussion-related injuries which is fantastic news to those players that have suffered from concussions. As long as it's explained to them slowly with no big words. It's AD on Rock 105.3. Give it up, Lincoln Park on Rockin' a 5.3. It's 80. If you are about to have a kid, or if you know someone who's about to have a kid, there is a terrible trap that a lot of people are falling into with their newborn children at the moment, and you can't fall victim to it. What is it? Full story before 6.30. Right now, though, music from a band that kind of owes their career to you. They got their first airplay here on Rockin' a 5.3. You decided that you liked them, and now they're rapidly taking over the world. And every time I speak to them, they ask me to say thank you on their behalf. It's a cool kid. It's Eerie. It's on Rockin' a 5-3. Stone Temple Pilots Creep on Rockin' a 5-3. It's 80. You, my friend, will have your next chance to win yourself two delicious pizzas from Pizza Hut before I get out of here at 7 o'clock. Right now, though, if you are planning on having a kid, or maybe you're expecting a child, or maybe you know someone who's expecting a child, there's a trap that you must not fall into with your newborn. What is it? It's just the worst idea ever. People are actually naming their kids things like Katniss, Khaleesi, and Django at an alarming rate. Yeah. Naming their kids after pop culture figures that will fade quickly. All my life I've been on a crusade to get parents to stop naming their kids after stupid pop culture characters, and I'm gonna succeed. Or my name is an Alf Pac-Man, Mr. T. MacGyver. Below Butterfly Wing, Smashing Pumpkins on Rockin' a 5-3. It's 80. That's it for me. Thank you so much for hanging out and being part of my Rockin' a 5-3 family. Marty's in next, and after 7 o'clock, he has a chance for you to win your way in to see the San Diego Symphony pay tribute to the music of Johnny Cash, which looks awesome, by the way. You know what else looks awesome? That Nine Inch Nails Soundgarden show rolling through Sleep Train Amphitheater. All week long, keep listening for your chance to win tickets from Rockin' a 5-3. And while we're on the subject of giving things away for the entirety of the football season, every single Tuesday, I have you. Your hookup for two large, delicious pizzas from Pizza Hut. Holler at your boy, 570-1053. Caller 15 snags the aforementioned Pizza Hut pizzas. And if you do happen to win while you're there picking up your pizza, grab yourself an ultimate Hershey's chocolate chip cookie. Mm Mm-mm, freaking mm mm-mm, good.